Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to use Wireshark 2.0 to look at a window scaling feature that you can only do with 2.0. So that's kind of neat. Let's talk just a little bit about that. Here's a trace file. You can see the three-way handshake and you can see the window scaling option says 256. I'm going to double click on this and open up this little packet. And if you take a look at the bottom here, it says multiply by 256 and the scaling factor is 8, 2 to the power of 8. All right. That's what that looks like. Now, let's just assume this top trace, I took that three-way handshake out. So now Wireshark doesn't know what that is. And it reports the window size as being 256 bytes, which is incorrect. It doesn't know what the scaling factor is in this trace. Therefore, it's just taking whatever that value is. And when you look into its detail, it says window scaling factor minus one or unknown. So we have to fix this. And we know that in this case, it is eight or two to the power of eight, which is 256. And we want to put that value in protocol preferences, scaling factor. And you can see all the options on that on that screen and if I move down a bit let me try that again protocol preferences scaling factor and down here on the bottom which you will not see it says 8 or multiply by 256 and when I do that now I see the correct window size and if you look in the packet details you will see that it says window scaling factor of 8 missing and taken from preference there you go. So if you do have a trace file where you don't have a three-way handshake, but you know the scaling factor, you can still fix your trace. Have a good day. Bye for now.